The sun is about to crash into Earth and kill JJ and Mikey's family. We need to travel to the sun and destroy it to save everyone. Oh my gosh, Louie, that sun is huge. We need to destroy it as soon as possible. I know, Pip. Once that crashes into the Earth, it will leave JJ and Mikey's families dead. And probably us too, if we're not quick enough. Well, Louie, how are we going to destroy it? I have a good idea, Pip. First of all, we need to get some really good loot. And then we need to get some TNT and blow the whole thing to smithereens. So follow me. We need to get some wood and get started on getting some OP materials straight away. Oh, don't worry, Mikey and JJ's family. We're going to save you. All right, let's just chop down some trees and get all of the wood we need to start making some tools. We need to go ahead and get some stone tools as fast as possible. And the best way to do that is to mine down a ton of wood like this and turn it into a crafting table, just like that. Then I'll make some sticks and I can go ahead and place down this crafting table and straight away make a wooden pickaxe. Now, because we are so close to a biome made out of stone, we can go ahead and grab some straight away. Let's just go over here and get enough stone to make a full set of tools. To make a sword, it's two, a pickaxe, it's three, and an axe, it's three. So I'm going to need around 12 stone. Let's just get a ton of cobblestone. What are you going to do in the meantime, Pip? Louis, I have a better idea. I'm going to go get iron now. Pip, but you don't even have a stone pickaxe. I don't need a stone pickaxe. Uh, yes, you do. Oh, guys, Pip is going to be really disappointed when they find out that they need a stone pickaxe. They'll mine some iron ore and get absolutely nothing. But it's fine because I just made a stone pickaxe so I can get a ton of iron. M maybe I should go and give one to Pip, too. Let's make another one. Louie, Louie. I found iron! I'm mining it! I'm mining it! Wait, 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 Pip! Pip, don't mine it yet! Don't mine it yet! I have a stone pickaxe! I'm bringing it to you now! Oh, it's really strong for some reason, Louie, but I I've almost got it good. No, 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 no. Where are you, Pip? Where are you? Where did you go? Let's go! I got iron! Wait, ooh, why isn't it in my inventory? I think it glitched, Louie. I think... I think this glitched. Pip! Oh, we are supposed to get really OP loot, and you've gone ahead and destroyed the only iron we could have gotten. Oh, just take the stone pickaxe. If you ever need more iron, use that, okay? Okay, Louie. Since I've already gotten iron, I'm going to get diamonds now with my brand new pickaxe. Wait, but that's a stone pickaxe. Oh my gosh, guys. Pip is so annoying. It's fine. It doesn't matter. I can get a ton of iron just by myself. I'll go ahead and get some coal. And I'll also get a ton of cobblestone. That way, I can make a furnace. And once I make that, I'll be able to smelt a bunch of iron ingots too. I think in case any mobs spawn, I should go ahead and make a sword as well. Let me just go back to my crafting table up on the surface and... Whoa, that sun looks scarier and scarier every second. Guys, comment down below if you think we can stop that sun. It is pretty big. And I'm only two blocks tall, whereas that thing is like 50 blocks tall. Okay, I'm back to the surface now. Let's go ahead and grab my crafting table and bring it down into the caves with me. I think I'll go and try and catch up with Pip. But first of all, I need to go ahead and make a furnace. I'm going to need this just in case I find any iron. And I think I'll make two of them just to be safe. Just in case there's any mobs down there too, I'll also make a stone sword. There we go. I'll use the rest of my wood to make some sticks and then make a stone axe just like that. Then I can mine down trees a lot faster, meaning that I can get as much wood as I will need to go to the underground. I don't know how I'm ever going to be able to stop that sun, but I have to do it for JJ and Mikey's family. I think I'm going to build a rocket and put a ton of TNT inside of it. That way I can blow up that massive sun that's threatening our entire Minecraft world. All right, I have 19 pieces of spruce logs. I'll mine down one more tree and that should be enough for me to go down into the mines, grab some iron and then get some diamonds. All right, there we go. That is the final tree. It's time to go down into the caves right now. Louis, Louis, come here, come here. I found diamonds. Wait, you found diamonds? 
Pip, wait right there. I'm going to get a ton of iron, and then I'll get the diamonds with you, okay? Olivia, I'm not waiting for you. These are my diamonds, not yours. Wait, what, Pip? Please, 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 please tell me you have an iron pickaxe right now. Of course, I have iron and I have a pickaxe. Oh, no. Iron and a pickaxe. Oh, come on, Pip. Just stay there. I'm mining some iron right now. I can bring down an iron pickaxe and get those diamonds for you, okay? Um, Lily, uh, I just mined three diamonds, but I, I think the server's broken. It's not giving me the ores. What, Pip? Please don't tell me you just did that. Please, please, please don't tell me you just mined all of those diamonds and got nothing from them. Of course I mined all the diamonds, silly. When I see diamonds, I want diamonds. Oh, I can't believe this. Pip just wasted a ton of diamonds. We could have made a diamond pickaxe out of that. I mean, we can still make a diamond pickaxe out of iron. Nope. Oh, that's an iron pickaxe, Pip. And anyways, I'm getting all of the iron that we need to make iron pickaxes right now. So just don't mine any more diamonds until I'm back, okay? Oh, why not? Because we won't get any diamonds from them. Because you'll mine them with a stone pickaxe instead of an iron pickaxe. Oh, Louis, I'll get the diamonds the next time. Just you see. Okay, but make sure I'm with you next time, please. Oh, if you're with me, you're probably going to steal the diamonds, aren't you, Louis? Um, uh, no, I would never steal the diamonds. But anyways, I just made an iron pickaxe, so I'll be able to mine them if we ever need to. Let me just get some more iron from these furnaces, and now I can make a ton more tools, like this iron axe and this iron sword. Now I'm very, very protected. I could throw away these stone tools. I don't even need them anymore. All right, let's just get a bit more iron out of here. And let's also make a shovel just to be safe. This should do just nicely if we need to make some TNT. Because you need a lot of sand to make that. There we go. I finally smelted up the last piece of iron. Let's just grab it all like this. And take my furnace and my crafting table with me. And... For some reason, I just got poisoned. What just happened? If you guys know what that is, comment down below. All right, hopefully I can find something in all of this cave. I can see a mine shaft. <gasps> Louis, I found diamonds. Let's go. Oh, wait a second. No way. Where are you? Are you in the same cave? Yeah, Louis, I'm right here, but these are my diamonds, not yours. No, 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 Pip, 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 get off those diamonds. Get off those diamonds. I can see the stone pickaxe in your hand. You know what? If you're going to mine them, at least use this, please. Fine, Louis. All right. No, that's still the stone pickaxe. That's still the stone pickaxe. Put the iron pickaxe in your inventory right now. Louis, I don't need your trash iron pickaxe. Come on, let me get these diamonds. No, no, no. All right, I'm mining them. I, it's too late for you. I'm getting them. You're stealing my diamonds. No, I'm not. I'm just actually getting the diamonds. I knew you would steal my diamonds. Oh, Louie, you're just a diamond stealer. I'm getting out of this cave and getting some more diamonds. Wait, no, Pip, come back. Oh, guys, he's actually really good at finding diamonds. No matter how much of a noob he is, let me just go ahead and follow Pip, and then maybe I'll be able to get some more diamonds too. We need at least one more diamond to make a diamond pickaxe with. Then we'll be able to get some obsidian and go to the nether. And that way, we'll be able to get a ton of obsidian too and make an obsidian rocket so that we don't blow up when we go to the sun. All right, I can see his name tag down there. Hopefully he's not looking and... Wait, there's some more iron down here. We might as well get some. Just go, wait, more diamonds, no way. Here we go. That's perfect. All right, guys, before Pip mines those diamonds, I need to distract him somehow. Wait, more diamonds, <laughs> no way. Okay, third time's a charm. Um, oh, what can I do? Uh, free diamonds, free diamonds. <laughs> oh, who, who said that? Free diamonds? Wait, I want free diamonds. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm hiding, I'm hiding, I'm hiding. Oh my gosh. Now Pip's gone that way. Let's quickly just block it up so he can't get back. Run, run, run. I need to get those diamonds before he gets back here. Go, 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 go. One, two. Perfect. We have four diamonds now. Let's get back and hide before Pip comes back. Oh, maybe it's just my imagination. Oh, let me get back to those diamonds now. 
Wait a second. Oh, no, guys. Pip is on the way back, and I have not gotten out. Uh, okay, I just have to hide. Let's just put some blocks here and hope Pip doesn't see me. Come on, let's get those diamonds. Um, weren't they just here a minute ago? What happened to them? Okay, did they move? Are they behind this? Oh my, oh my gosh, I'm so close right now. Pip is mining right next to me. I'm really scared. All right, guys, I need to get out of here. Let's keep mining. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh no. Where did those diamonds go? Pip just mined into my cave. Louie. Oh. No, 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 no. You didn't see me. You didn't see me. You didn't see me. I'm running. Did you take my diamonds? Uh, no, I don't take diamonds. I'm not a diamond thief, Pip. Who do you think I am? No! Come here, Louie. Give me my diamonds back. Guys, this is really bad. Pip is chasing me. Let me just go under the ground and hide. Go, 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 go. Uh, put that cobblestone there. Those diamonds belong to me, Louie. Oh, my gosh. Pip knew where I went. Pip knew where I went. Um, Let's go this way. Let's escape right now. Let's just lose him in this mine shaft. Um, This will be a good enough spot. I'll just hide right here. Oh, I'm coming to find you, Louie. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Pip is on the way. No, 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 no. He's right there. Oh, he's not over there. Oh, I'm right. I'm, I'm right behind him. Where did he go? Oh, he must have went this way. Oh, oh, my gosh, guys. That was insane. Pip almost found me. Like the video if you think I'm an absolute Minecraft pro right now. All right, but I've got to get back to the surface right now. All right, but I'm going to create a diamond pickaxe right now. Let me just get some of my wood, turn it into some sticks, and go ahead and make this diamond pickaxe. And while I'm at it, I'm going to need some sand as well to make some TNT. So I'll also make a diamond shovel. There we go. Perfect. We are absolutely suited up right now. I think I'm going to go to the nether now and get some really, really cool loot. I think now it's time for me to get some armor. This way, I'll take less damage from the TNT explosions. And... While I'm at it, I'll also get some sand. Let's go to the surface right now. And while I'm on the way, as you can see, there's little iron patches. I think I'll grab some of those just like this. All right, guys, I'm back on the surface and I have loads of stuff. I got a ton of iron. Let's also get some sand because I'm going to need a ton of TNT. Where can I find the nearest sand? I think I'll have to go... Wait, is this sand? No, that's not sand. I need to go near some water. That's usually where it spawns, as you can see down there. Now, let's get a ton of this, because I'm going to need tons of TNT. And by tons, I mean a few stacks. This is going to take a lot of mining. I'll do this while I wait for my iron to smelt. And then hopefully I'll be able to make the craziest wow! rocket known to man. Or the craziest rocket known to Minecraft, at least. What would you guys put in a rocket if you had to destroy the sun? Personally, I would not put anything hot inside because it would just make the sun a lot stronger. Did you know that the reason the sun is so hot is because it's exploding all the time? By sending TNT to the sun right now, we are fighting fire with fire. Or fighting explosions with explosions. Let's just say that. I have two stacks of sand so far. I'll get a bit more, and then I'll have enough to make a few stacks of TNT. One thing that I'm really going to have to do is get some gunpowder, because that is going to allow me to make a ton of TNT. Maybe I should ask Pip to help me out with that. All right, I'm back to where I started with JJ and Mikey's family, and wait a second, there's Pip! Uh, Pip, are you okay? Hey, Louie, I thought I'd just tell JJ that he's about to die. What? That's so mean! Don't tell JJ he's about to die. He'll be extremely scared, especially when he sees that sun over there. Well, Louis, the thing is, I'm looking at the sun right now, and it looks like we only have about an hour to stop it. What, an hour? Well, I mean, it is pretty close. We need to get building these rockets as soon as possible. All right, Louis, but what do we need to build it? Well, first of all, we are going to need a ton of iron to make an iron rocket. We're also going to need a lot of TNT and redstone. And, oh, wait, you already have some iron. That's pretty good. Throw it in the furnace. Yep, I have 120 pieces of iron. That 
That's crazy! All right, Pip, but now that all of this iron is smelting, I can make us some iron armor. This way, we can stay safe from that sun's rays. Also take less damage from the explosion. All right, here you go. I just made you a full set of iron armor. Let's put it on and suit up. All right, but what now, Louis? Iron armor is not going to save us from that sun. Well, Pip, we have to go and get some really strong materials. As you know, we're smelting a ton of iron right now. But if we craft it into iron blocks, we can start making an extremely strong rocket out of these. I think I'll get started with it right over here. We need to make sure it's really, really big, but we only have three iron blocks. Oh, this isn't much of a rocket, Louie. Oh, don't you worry, Pip. It's going to be amazing once we've completed it. We just need to smelt up a ton of stone to make some stone bricks, too. Follow me. Let's get all of the blocks that we need. We might have to go back into the cave once again, but it's going to be well worth it to stop that sun and save JJ and Mikey. Oh, I... I... I really want a, a, a dirt reward instead. They might even give us a diamond reward. You want a dirt reward? Why would you want dirt when you can have diamonds? Because dirt is way better than diamonds. Um, no, it's not, Pip. This is actually one of the reasons why I don't take you mining with me. You're always trying to take all of the dirt. Oh, come on, Louie. I'm trying to make dirt armor, but they haven't added it into the game yet. I think because it's going to be too OP. Too OP? It's probably because it doesn't even give you any armor. Anyways, Pip, come on. We need to go down into the cave. I'm following you. All right, Pip. We are in a ravine right now, and look at all of these awesome ores. What is this supposed to be? Mars stone? Well, that's kind of fun. And look, there's so much more iron. We need to grab some of that to make some iron blocks out of. This will be really good for our rocket ship. Oh, but Louie, to make a good rocket, we're going to need thousands of iron. Oh, don't you worry. We have plenty of time. An hour is all we need. Let's just make sure we get some coal as well so we can smelt it all into iron ingots. But also, Pip, if you find any creepers, be sure to kill them. We are going to need a ton of gunpowder, okay? Wait, Louie, come over here. Look. Wait, what have you found, Pip? What? Wait, is that a chest? Look inside the chest. Wait a second. We found a looting three sword. This is going to be amazing, Pip. Did you know looting gives you more... Oh, that sounds so good, Louie. Where are these creepers? Looting gives you more items whenever you kill mobs. If we find any creepers, we'll be sure to get tons of gunpowder. Come on, let's go kill some right now. All right, Pippin. Wait a second. There's some creepers at the end of this cave. We have to be very careful, okay? Get him! Try and do some damage and... Come on, don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Oh my gosh, that was really close. Hiya! And wait, we got four gunpowder from that. That's enough to make one TNT block. Four? And look, there's so many right over there. All right. Oh, that's so easy. Right, let's just kill them as quick as possible. And hopefully they don't explode. Come on. No, they're all just dying. Ow! Oh my gosh. Explosions are happening everywhere. And wait, did we kill them? We got a ton of gunpowder, too. We just need to find a few more. But I think I know a place where we can find a lot more gunpowder, Pip. Where? Well, that's the nether. As you know, there are ghasts inside of the nether. And they drop a bunch of gunpowder when you kill them. But we are going to need a lot of obsidian first. So let's walk around in these caves a little longer and see if we can find any obsidian, okay? There's got to be some somewhere. Follow me, Pip. We are going down really deep into this cave. And did you know there's a really easy method to find obsidian in Minecraft? Well, what is the method? Well, when you're inside of a cave, you just have to follow the water streams. They usually run into lava, and it turns lava into obsidian. And it looks like I was right. Look at this. There is a ton of obsidian down here with that we can mine. Well, this should be enough to make a nether portal. All right, let's go ahead and start mining. We need to get a ton of this, and then we can make a nether portal and go and explore the nether. While we are there, I'm pretty sure there are bastions that also drop TNT, which is going to be amazing for us. 
that means we don't have to do as much creeper killing. So far, we only have three pieces of obsidian, but we need about 10 pieces of obsidian to make a nether portal. Now, that is without the corners, at least. That we're going to have to make a really poor nether portal. Wait, wait, wait. What is a poor nether portal? If you have all the pieces of obsidian needed to make a portal, you can add the corners to it, and that means you're rich. But if you don't have enough obsidian, you have to make it without the corners or with dirt in the corners, which uh, basically means you're really poor. Oh, I love dirt. We should definitely use dirt. Oh, no, we're not. No, we are not, Pip, okay? All right. I almost have the last piece of obsidian needed. I just got my eighth piece right now. There it is, just floating around in the water. And now I just need one more. And then I'll have enough to make a completed nether portal. Oh, Louis, I can't wait to go to the nether. I definitely can, Pip, because the nether is a really scary place. Louis, what's so scary about pigs? The nether is not scary at all. Oh, you should know that those piglins are really, really scary, Pip. When you attack one of those zombie pigmen, they get their entire army to attack, which is uh, really, really dangerous. But anyways, we have all of the obsidian we need. Whilst we're on the way to the surface, let's get some more iron, and then we can make a nether portal. Ooh. Let's go! All right, Pip, I would say that is a very successful mining trip. Just look at what we got. I have not one, but two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stacks of iron ore. Yeah, this is insane, Louis, but thanks for the iron. Bye! Oh, wait, wait, Pip, do not steal my iron. Come back here really quickly. Oh, fine, Louis. I mean, you stole my diamonds, so it's only fair. All right, you can hold on to that iron for now, but unless you want to die to the sun up there, you better get smelting all of this iron right now. And that's why I've just made a ton of furnaces. This way, we can get as much iron as we need. I'll just place a ton of coal inside of each one. This way, we can smelt a bunch of iron in every single one. This will make it extremely fast to smelt every single piece of the iron we need. And then we can make a ton of iron blocks. And uh, we'll be rich. We'll be able to make a huge rocket. Oh, this is going to be the, the best rocket in the world. Agreed. All right, while all that iron is smelting right now, let's go over here and make our nether portal. We still need a flint and steel, but that's not going to be a problem. We can always make that in a second. All right, let's go ahead and make a poor nether portal then, Pip. I guess we'll have to make one for you. Here we go. Let's just go up here, add the dirt to the corners, and there we go. Ah, uh, boom. We've now made a poor nether portal. Look how sad this looks. It looks amazing with the dirt on it. I do not think so, Pip. But anyways, let's get some gravel. We need to now make a flint and steel to activate this thing. So we'll mine a ton of gravel until we get a piece of flint. And there we go. That was really easy. We got one right here. Let's go and make it into a flint and steel now. Let's go get one piece of iron ingot out of here just so we can make it. And there we go. Let's go to the crafting table now and use this to make a flint and steel. And let's go and light our nether portal. All right, and here we go. There we are. We just lit our nether portal. Do you want to do the honors of going through? Let's go. Woohoo! All right, we'll let our iron just smelt over here for now. All right, Pip, here we are. We just entered the nether, and look how scary this place is. Okay, Pip, so it's now time to find some ghasts and get a ton of gunpowder. Let's get down there right now. We can also make a ton of really strong blocks by getting a ton of netherrack. We go over there where all of those stones are. We can make a really sturdy rocket. And also, we can get some of that glowstone over there to make some lights on our rocket. Yeah, Louis, that sounds awesome. We can make sure we never lose our way in the depths of space. That's the most crazy thing I've ever heard you say, but... Wait a second, Pip. Is that a lucky block over there? I want to mine it. I want to mine it. Be careful, Pip. And oh my gosh, we just got a gold block. You know what? I'll let you have this. 
Uh, take my diamond pickaxe. Thank you. Oh, take the diamond pickaxe? Uh, I don't need it. I'll just use the stone. Wait, Pip, no, don't throw it. Oh, my gosh. Um, you're going to be very disappointed, Pip. Um, yeah, you just completely wasted it. This stone pickaxe sucks. Yes, so use this iron pickaxe I just threw you. It's really important you do. Man, I'm throwing this away. Oh, my gosh, Pip, you're crazy. But anyways, Pip, I just realized something. The nether is absolutely... Absolutely full of Whoa! lucky blocks. Let's go and get a ton. Lucky blocks give you a ton of good loot if you get lucky. So let's go ahead and grab one of those. And hopefully we will get something very good. Okay. All right, Pip, go ahead. Do you want to do the honors of mining it? I'm going to stand all the way over here. Sure. Well, I, I threw my pickaxe into the lava. So I'm going to have to mine this with my bare hands. <gasps> Wait, is that an ender chest? Wait, Pip, this is really awesome. If you hold this ender chest and I hold mine, whenever we place an ender chest down anywhere in this Minecraft server, we'll be able to take whatever we want from it, wherever we are. Oh, Louis, I'll put my ender chest inside of my ender chest. Okay, there's absolutely no point in you doing that, but okay. Let me just grab this ender chest really quickly, and let's go find another lucky block. All right, Louis, the nether isn't as dangerous as I thought it would be. Well, Pip, that's just because it's... Wait, did you see something? Louis, look! Is it something dangerous, Pip? If it's really dangerous, I don't think I want to see it. Oh, no, there's so many lucky blocks. Whoa, no way! Pip, we should get down there right now and mine them all. What do you say? Yes, yes, go check him out. Go check him out. Oh, oh my gosh, Pip, you almost killed me. I'm going down the safe way. Oh, you always go down the safe way, but I'm going to get first picks. I'm going to do this lucky block right here. Come on. And oh my gosh, look, I got a sand castle with loads of golden blocks on top of it. This is going to be really good for our rocket ship. <gasps> And it gave us more lucky blocks. All right, Pip, you go ahead and mine one of those lucky blocks in there. Be careful not to die, though. All right, let's see what I get. Um, well, there's your problem. Oh, that's just a block of bedrock there now. We can't get rid of that ever again. Don't worry, Pip, I'll do this next one. Here we go, come on. And wait, it's a hero Whoa! villager. And it does so many good potions. You know what? I don't think he's going to be very useful. Maybe I should just kill him. Let's just go ahead and do this. Run away. Okay, perfect. Right, you do the next lucky block, Pip. All right. And the next lucky block, let's see. Iron armor! I've already got iron armor, but it gave me iron horse armor in, in case I get a horse. All right, Pip. Well, stand back. This last one might be really dangerous. Here we go. Ooh. Wait, I'm, I'm blind. I'm blind. Help. Help. I don't know what's going on. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm being attacked. This is really bad. This is really bad. Louis, <laughs> there's a bunch of silverfish. Run, Louis. Don't worry, Pip. I've got this. I'll just fight them all off. These things do not scare me. I'm not scared of these pesky pests. Just make sure you hit them with a big swing of your sword. That way, they'll all take damage all at once. And you'll be able to kill them all really quickly. Oh, wait. I lost my blindness effects. Let's kill these things. Come on. Oh, Louis, I don't have a sword, so I'm just punching them. Just finish them off. They're really low. Look at that. I just killed about five in one hit. There we go, there we go, and done. Uh, Pip, you're still having a bit of trouble over there. Maybe I should help you. Yeah, Louie, I really hate these things. They're super scary. Yeah, they're not so scary as they are really slimy and slippery. Look how annoying they are to hit. Louie, I'm glad we got rid of those. But do you want to open more lucky blocks? Of course I do. How about we unlock this one right here? I think I'll let you do the honors just in case it's deadly. And Wait, what? What does it say? It's a potion. A hero's potion. It gives it gives me fire resistance, speed, haste, strength, regeneration, resistance, fire resistance, invisibility, health boost, absorption, more speed, more attack speed, more attack damage, more max health. Louis, it's absolutely OP. Oh, this is so unfair. You know what? I'm going to break the next one. This one better give me something good. And... A bunch of bunny rabbits, and they just left. That's annoying. Well, Louis, you got a bunch of friends that don't even like you now. They just all ran away. Well, maybe my subscribers can be my friends. Please, guys, subscribe. I need friends. Um, good luck with that, Louis. But anyways, it's time to open a new lucky block. All right, here we go. And a chest? What's inside? Oh, there's nothing in there. A map. 
I've got a map. Uh, Louie, I'm not good at reading maps. C can you read this for me? Um, I'll give it a go. Let's see what this says. Um, it doesn't say anything, Pip. It's completely blank. But it's fine. We can just keep opening more lucky blocks. I'm going to go for this one right now. Here we go, and... Wait, a wishing well? All right, let me throw a coin inside. Here we go. Throw it in! What did I get? TNT Rod! Oh my gosh, man. We barely escaped that. Look at the crater it just made. But wait, look at the bottom. There's some iron blocks right there. Perfect. We can use this for our rockets. Oh, Louis, I hope we can get some seeds or some redstone and we can make our rocket even better. Yeah, then we can make a command seat for our rocket and we can pilot the rockets directly onto the sun. All right, let's destroy this lucky block and see what happens. And Whoa, look, look at gold. gold. All right, this is perfect. We could probably trade with some piglins to get some really good loot. Do you want to open the next lucky block, Pib? Yep, let me open it. Oh, you got another bedrock block. Oh, oh, my gosh. Don't worry, Pip. I have really good luck. I'm going to open all five of those in very quick succession. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That, one diamond shovel for me. I'll be taking uh, that. Okay, next one. Next one. And I got a uh, bedrock. Next one. Oh, wait. That's a huge a lucky, lucky block. block. All right, Pip, you go ahead and press that lever. I want to flick the lever. All right, stand back. This might be dangerous. And... TNT! Run, Pip, run! That was really close. You almost died once again. All right, here we go. The last two. Let's open this one and uh, chainmail armor. That's really bad. Let's use some netherrack to build over to that last one over here and see what we get. Please be something good. <laughs> and... Wait, TNT! TNT! Wait, Pip... We just got two stacks of TNT. This is going to be amazing. That sun is going to stand no chance against this. All right, Louis. Now that you've got the TNT, how about we go back home and start building our rocket? Sounds like a good idea, Pip. If we can get all of our iron that we smelted before, we should be able to build the biggest rocket ship in the entire of Minecraft. All right, Pip, we are back from the nether. It's time to go ahead and grab all of the iron that we smelted up. And look, we still have a bit of it going, and it's not all done yet. But once we build this rocket ship, we should have a ton of iron to build with. All right, here we go. Let's just convert all of this into iron blocks and see how many we get. Come on. All right, here we go. And then we'll put another bit in here. Boom! Look at all that iron blocks. We got a whole stack and 14 more. We should be able to build at least the walls of our rocket out of this. How many iron blocks did you get, Pip? Oh, Louie, I got three stacks of iron blocks. Three stacks! Um, Pip, I'm sorry to say this, but uh, can you pass me one of those stacks? Oh, sure, I'll pass you one. Not one iron block. I said a whole stack of iron. Oh, the whole stack. Yep, thank you very much. And what do you say, Pip? Now we have all of this iron and TNT, we start building our rocket ship. Sure. All right. We need to make sure that that sun does not crash into the planet. I think we only have about 10 minutes left. We don't have long until JJ and Mikey's families are obliterated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mine all of these iron blocks out. And I'm going to make our engine, okay? This is going to be the thruster for our rocket. Where all of the fire is going to come from. From and what is going to get us to that planet up there. I'm going to make it two blocks tall as well. This is so that we can put a lot of fuel inside. We are going to need to fill this thing with a ton of coal. What I'm also going to do is make a crafting table like this. And I'm going to go ahead and make a chest. This is going to be where all of our fuel is stored. Let's just mine this iron block and put in all of our fuel. So everything that is combustible, that means it can be put in a furnace. So that includes a bunch of coal. That means some gunpowder and some spruce planks like that. That will all work as fuel for our rockets. Let's also go ahead and fill in all of these blocks like this. This is so that our rocket booster stays together and doesn't fall apart as we're flying. 
there we go. We've built a huge rocket thruster at the bottom, but now it's time to build the rocket ship. Oh, Louis, this rocket is really starting to come together. I know, Pip. And do you think we should build this rocket ship a little bit out like this so that it's got a circular shape on it? Of course, Louis. All right, let's go ahead and build it in this shape right here. Let's go and build around the rocket booster like this. And now we have a circle shape going around this booster. Now all we have to do is build this rocket ship up into the sky. This thing has to look amazing. So let's build the walls up three blocks high. And then we can add a few floors to this thing and fill it with TNT. We can also go ahead and add a command seat where we can control the rocket from. But we are going to need some redstone for that. So how about this, Pip? Whilst I'm building this rocket ship, you go down into the mines and get me a ton of redstone, okay? All right, I'll go get all the redstone in the world. Go ahead. But here we go. Let's build up one more layer over here, just like this. And this is where our second floor is going to start. I need to make sure that this rocket gets smaller as it goes up, just so that it looks like a real rocket ship. So to do that, I'm going to start building up these walls on the inside like this. So that it kind of looks like a cone shape like this. So let's go ahead and build around just like this with this iron. This way, I can make this wall look epic. And I need to make sure that this rocket ship is aerodynamic. That means that it can cut through the air like a knife. And if it can do that, that means it can fly up really fast into the sky. And we are definitely going to be able to do that. Because that sun is really high up in the sky. Let's just go ahead and build these walls. And then... I'll go ahead and get some stone bricks like this and build the floor of the second floor of this rocket ship. I just need to reach down here and let's fill this in with some stone bricks and connect it all up just like that. We are now done with the second floor. Louis, Louis, I just got so much redstone. Wait, Pip, where are you? Where do you, where do you go? I'm, I'm behind this hill right over here, Louis. Oh, there you are. Okay, what kind of redstone did you get? Show me. Look how much redstone I got. Okay, that's one. And that's uh, four. How much redstone have you got, Pip? Just throw me all of it. Louis, I got four. You got four redstone, but you're still holding some in your hand. Four stacks? Whoa! Four stacks of redstone? You are insane, Pip. Let's go ahead and craft this into some redstone blocks. This way, we can make this rocket ship look absolutely amazing. And it can look really futuristic. Let's also go ahead and use a few sticks and some cobblestone to make some levers out of. This way, we can power the TNT when we reach the sun. But also, we can make a bottom floor that will be our control room. So let's mine our way inside of this rocket ship and get started on a control room on the inside. First of all, I'm going to make some stone brick stairs. This way, we can climb our way inside of the rocket ship until we take off. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of iron to make some iron doors just like this. And then, we can have an entrance to our rocket ship that does not fall apart as we fly. I'll put the lever for it right here so I can open and close on the outside. Oh, Louis, this rocket ship is looking super strong. And this door is as well. Why, thank you, Pip. I designed it myself, you know. But what we have to do now is we need to keep building this rocket ship higher and higher into the air so we can hold more and more TNT. We need to destroy that sun in the next five minutes. So what we're going to do, Pip, is we are going to add the fins to the side of this rocket ship. This makes sure that it can fly through the air upwards and that it also uh, doesn't fall apart as it's flying. Oh, Louis, this rocket reminds me of a duck. It has wings. Wait, it reminds you of a duck because it has wings? Pip, I don't know about you, but I don't think I've ever seen any ducks with wings that look like this. Well, Louis, just because you haven't met a duck that is as strong as this rocket ship doesn't mean they don't exist. Um, are you talking about yourself right now? If you are, that's really embarrassing. I mean, I am pretty strong. Just look at these muscles. Um, I don't see any muscles at all. If you ask me, I'd say I have bigger muscles than you. Let's compare muscles right now. I'm going to take off my shirt and, uh, I'm sorry to say this, Pip, but my arms are so much more muscular than yours. Oh, Louie, it's what's on the inside that counts, not the outside. 
Um, what could possibly be inside your muscles? There's literally nothing that can make them any stronger than mine right now. Well, Louis, what's inside of my muscles is heart. Um, no, that's inside of your chest, Pip, not inside of your muscles. But anyways, let's keep building this rocket. Otherwise, we are going to get absolutely destroyed by this catastrophic meteorite, which is the sun. All right, let's go ahead and climb up onto the top of this rocket ship. I'm going to add a window so that we can see where we are in the sky. Then I'm going to build a little staircase here, and we are going to build this rocket ship as high up as we can. I think four more layers should do, just like this. All right, Louis, I'll copy your design. All right, sounds like a good idea. You're always copying me, though, don't you realize? Louis, we're working together. Well, I mean, I guess we are. At the end of the day, I love JJ and you love Mikey. And we'll do anything to make sure they don't die to that sun right there. And if that means building a huge rocket, then so be it. Come on, Pip, we don't have much time. Let's just keep building this rocket as high up as we can. And then we'll keep adding some more floors. We need to make sure that it gets smaller and smaller as we go up. That way, it will look like a real rocket ship. Just follow my lead on the design, okay? Let's just keep building in like this, just so that it covers all of this empty space. And then we'll add a third floor to this thing. All right, keep going. We're almost done with this third floor. We are going to pile this thing to the top with TNT. It's going to be mega. All right, Pip, so now we've done this next floor. Let's build up another layer like this. This is going to be the absolute top of our rocket. And I think we need to make this section a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and just build up a few more blocks like this. Then we can start on the antenna on the top. Louis, do you really think this rocket is going to be strong enough? How do we know it's not too weak? Well, Pip, I'm glad you asked that question. As you can see, this rocket is made fully out of iron blocks, which are extremely strong blocks in Minecraft. And the best part is, they also don't melt like other blocks. So if we fly very close to the sun over there, our entire rocket ship will not melt. And we will be able to land there safe and sound without taking any damage. All right, Louis. Uh, I trust you, but if we die, tell my mom I love her. If she's still alive. Pip, I thought your mom died in a volcano accident. And wait, Pip, that's actually kind of funny. Your your parents died in a volcano accident, and now you're going to die in a sun accident! Oh, I'm not going to die, Louie, but if I do die, it'll be your fault! No, it'll be both of our faults, mainly because we didn't build this rocket right. If Mikey and JJ die as well, that's on us, Pip. Oh, Louie, I wanted to build the rocket out of dirt, but you wouldn't let me. Well, of course I wouldn't let you build a mega rocket out of dirt. It would melt before it even gets to the sun. But don't worry, Pip. You just stay there. Just stay right there really quickly. I'm going to build the antenna all the way up on this rocket right now. I need to make this go all the way up into the sky. And then I need to place a single redstone block on top to show that this is the top of the rocket. Louie, are you sure that won't set off some TNT or something? Oh no, Pip. It will not set off any TNT. This redstone block is far away from any TNT, so it won't explode anything. Don't you worry. All right, Pip. Let me just jump down and... Ow! Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I need to heal up a little bit before I jump down again. And let's see. That should be enough. Let's just jump down like this. Ow! Oh my gosh, I'm on a heart. Louis, drink that potion. Thanks for the potion, Pip. Let me just drink this thing and boom. Look at all those hearts it just gave me. I should be able to jump down another flight. There we go. And another one. And another one. And boom, I'm at the bottom. And this rocket ship is looking insane. Oh, Louis, let me get down there and ah! Wait, what? Wait, Pip, how did you just survive that? I don't know, Louie. I think it's because I'm a duck. I don't have fall damage. Wait, you don't have fall damage because you're a duck? You could have just told me this the whole time. Oh, well, I, I didn't know I didn't have fall damage. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know what, Pip? It doesn't matter now. Let's go ahead and fill this rocket ship full of TNT. Let's do it. All right, get inside and let's get rid of that lever right there just so we don't go activating anything. Now, let's get all of this TNT and start placing. Boom, 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 boom. We are going to absolutely fill this rocket full of TNT. 
We have to leave absolutely no space not filled with TNT. Oh, Louie, this is going to be the biggest blast ever. Oh, yes, it is, Pip. Just you guys wait. Once this TNT explodes, it's going to take that whole sun down with it. All right, there we go. That's the first floor set up. Let's go do the second floor now. All right, Pip, it's now time for the second floor. Let's put a ton more TNT in here. Come on, help me. All right, Louie, where do I place it? Well, just place it wherever you want. Go ahead, put it all around. Wherever I want? Yeah, that's the idea, Pip. That's the spirit. Place as much as you can. We need to fill this thing to the brim. With enough TNT, we should be able to destroy that pesky planet over there. And also... Hopefully not destroy the earth with it as well. All right, okay. here we go. We filled the bottom floors. Now it's time to fill the absolute top floor all the way up here. Oh, Louie, it's so tight in here. I'm kind of claustrophobic, Louie. Oh, don't you worry. We will be flying up into space in just a moment. You won't feel claustrophobic then. There is plenty of space in space. That's why it's called space. Oh, well, that makes sense. All right, let's just fill all, all these spaces up with TNT. And let's get ourselves out of this ship right now. All right, here we go. Just a bit more TNT. Just follow me, Pip. Let's fill it up and jump out at the same time. There we go. Just jump off of that block. Fill it all up with TNT. And then we should be able to just place it all back in. Boom. That rocket is rigged up and ready to explode. Just look at all of that TNT inside. Oh, I can't wait to see this rocket get off the ground and go to space. Me neither. We only have to go all the way up there. That sun is getting awfully close, Pip. We don't have much time left. How about we go ahead and fly up there right now? Let's do it, Louie. All right, Pip, come on up here. We need to get into the rocket right now. And let's turn this thing on. I'm coming, Louie. All right, let me get a, a lever really quickly. And this should be the control panel. It's not really much right now, but it should be good enough to take us to space. Let me just make sure this is like a little room that we can sit inside of. Just so we don't take too much damage. And there we go. This is looking good. All right, let's press the button and boom. Oh my gosh, Pip. We're totally flying right now. We're going up so high. This is crazy. Wait a second, Pip. I think we're coming down on the sun right now. I see the sun. Oh my gosh, Pip. Look. We totally just made it to the sun. And we're in the last minute left until this thing explodes sky high. And ouch, it's really hot. Don't worry, Louie. We're going to blow this thing up anyways. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Now let's just get up this rocket right here. And let's blow this thing sky high. So let's go ahead and light the flint and steel and get out of here. Three, two, one. It's lit, it's lit, it's lit. Run, 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 run. run. All right, let's watch this thing explode. Ouch. Ow. Oh my gosh, Pip, we just made a huge crater in this sun. All right, let's jump down and see what happens. All right, Pip, let's see whether we destroyed that sun. I'm going to jump down there into the water and I'm going to take a quick look at what happened. Let's go and look up there and... Oh my gosh, it's still huge. But hopefully that TNT is going to make it blow itself up. Come on! Wait, where's Pip? I'm coming, Louie! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Jump off that thing! Oh my gosh, my game is lagging. My game is lagging. It's exploding right now. There goes Pip. He just jumped off the edge and... Oh my gosh, the whole sun just exploded! Louie! Louie, we did it! We did it! I know we did, Pip! We just saved Mikey and JJ's family from that huge sun! But if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen! Let's go! Let's go!